Um, my name is Mrs. Whitten. Um, some of you may know me because I've done some work with you before. I've been into your class and done some really exciting art projects. Um, some of you might not know me. Um, I work for the Trust and I do some enrichment. And I have got a really, really exciting opportunity for you, which is a chance to take part in an art competition. Now, the art competition is being run by the Rotary, which is a group of business people in the local area. And they really, really want the, the young people in the area to get involved um, and make them some beautiful pieces of art. Art. So, the competition works in different stages, so you will hopefully, if you choose to take part, produce a beautiful piece of artwork on the theme Wild Nature. So it has to be based around nature. That will then get put forward, um, and if it wins, we'll go through to the next round. So all the children in Kent will put their work into this area first, and then from there it will go forward to the next round, and then if it gets through to that round, it will go through to the next round, until you're competing against children from all over England, Scotland and Wales. So this is really, really exciting and could be amazing for you, okay? So, we want you to have fun with this. You don't have to do the competition if you don't want to, but we think it could be something that's really nice to do while we're in lockdown down and you can't get into school. Plus as well we love seeing your artwork so it'd be really really lovely. So some details about the competition. For the art competition because there is an art and a photography and I'm just going to talk about the art right now. Um, the theme is wild nature so if you think about it that takes in quite a lot so maybe you could do insects or birds or animals or plants or trees or even the weather because that's all about nature isn't it so the choice is yours you might want to make a little mind map first um, and think about all the different ideas that you could do your piece of art can't be bigger than a2 okay so that's four pieces of normal sized paper okay so four of those together make a2 so that's huge doesn't have to be that big you can just do it small if you want to so the choice is yours okay the materials that you can use you can use pen and ink so you could sketch or draw with pen you can use paint um, so poster paint, acrylic paint, watercolour paint, you could even if you wanted to get really really creative and try making your own paints by crushing up leaves and berries and how close to nature is that? Really exciting. Check with mum and dad first, it's okay if you're using kitchen utensils, that okay? Um, you can do printmaking if you want and your teachers could have, might have sent you out a link where I've shown you how to make prints out of just bits of old cardboard so you could even use cereal packets to do it. Which is amazing or you can collage okay so you can stick lots of different things try not to make it too thick okay because it has to go through the post as well um, and we want everything to stay really well attached but you can look at different textures so I've got a painting here that I'm going to show you which is one of mine and if you look really closely can you see I've got some different materials that have been stuck on I've done my drawing in the middle um, I've got other bits of papers and things, all different textures, so all things that feel really, really different, I've stuck on in a kind of collage. So that's quite exciting, you can do that. And what you can also do, if you want to, is you can, if you don't have lots of different papers, you can use toilet roll, just normal toilet roll. And if you wet it, you can shape it into all different types of um, forms and textures and whatever you wanted so if you were doing a tree maybe you could make it all wrinkly in lines like the bark of a tree that could be really exciting and if you're going to do that work on card not paper because it'll make the paper really soggy okay once that's done you let it dry and then you can paint over the top of it you don't need any glue just water and toilet roll that's really exciting love working in that way you can even not for this but, but can you see I've made bowls that's how hard it goes so you know that it's going to be great on your painting okay but you need to make sure it's 2D so it's flat okay um, it can have a bit of texture but it can't stick out that much okay so that's the art competition really it's really exciting we'd love you to take part um, it has to be, your work has to be in on the 24th of February to your school because I'm going to come and collect them on the 25th and then I'm going to mount them up ready to send away, okay? So the 24th, that's a Wednesday, so make sure they get to your school by the time the school closes. You need to have your form on the back, your entry form, which will have been sent out by your teachers as well. Um, I look forward to seeing all the amazing artwork that you're going to be creating on the theme Wild Nature. Let's get to it. <laughs>